Hello friends, welcome to the episode 6 of Joomla 2.5 custom module development series. In the previous episode, we have learned how to interact with database. Uh, and uh, in the episode 1, I have found one question from Tashin. Uh, can you say tutorial about how to use session on Joomla module? So in this episode, I will explain how to use session in Joomla module. So for this demonstration, I have created two files simple two files so let's look at these files so here I have written the XML this is a hello world module we have two files that is XML which contains the module information and this is the page where we will write our PHP code and blank index.html file and in this um, page we don't need these two line in this page uh, we have just echoed some text so that we can see that our module is working or not ok so let's quickly create a g file and install this module so g is created now let's go to the backend and select upload and install so now if i go to the module manager so here we can see an instance created so now we will place this in the left middle status published activate all pages and this is session tutorial save and close so now if I visit the front end um, nothing is displaying why test oh sorry module instance not exist hello world so session session tutorial position is left b20 position left bottom ok publish in all pages save and close go to the home page we can see our module ok in another page also we can see so here I will explain the session So um, open the Joomla installed folder. So this is the Joomla installed folder which is under my www folder. If you are in Windows then under htdocs or WAMP directory. So I am clicking on the modules. Then we will get the hello world. Hello here. So we have two files okay so we will work on this file so what will be the applications uh, there will be one form enter your name if uh, that user submitted the form then we will register uh, the value in the session then we will not display the form okay so how we will store in the session so how to work with Joomla session so first thing step 1 get session object so how we will get dollar session equal to j factory get session ok step 2 step 2 set session value using session object ok so dollar session this is the object we will call set function now we have to give the key name that is like user id equal to dollar user id like this in the left it will contain the key and this is the value when you will retrieve data from the session this key will be used ok step 3 get session value again copy paste ok so how so dollar user id equal to dollar session this time get now the key value that is user underscore id so this is the three simple process you can interact with the joomla session ok so let's check so 
first we will get the session object now here we will check the session value like this so instead of user id we will use name so name if name not found then we can pass initial value null ok so if name is not registered then we will get the null value so here we can check whether the name value is present or not so if is at dollar name that means the se value exists in the session or this one ok so if the session value is exist then we will echo hi hi dollar name you have submitted the form ok now here the value is not present ok so what we will do we will display a form so let's quickly create a form form give a method post now level sorry level enter your name and one text box sorry input type text name equal to name value equal to nothing ok here also we have used names so some people may confused so full name ok now we will need a submit button so break now submit name btm underscore form now value is save ok so let's refresh this page error something bad happen with our code because all this garbage code is present that's why ok so let's remove this or we can comment save ok now here you can see the form is displaying if I go to the another page that we can see the form ok now when um, user will click on the submit then the form will be posted ok so here we will check the form is posted or not if it said post if button value will get that means the form is posted so dollar name or better full name full name equal to j j request get var now we can pass this one ok so now we will save this value into the session so the rules set so copy this line paste so using that object because in the upside we have created that object so object we are setting value so now the key will be name because when we are getting from the session that time we are mentioning this key and what will be the value full name ok so we have set the session now let's go to the front end home page so this time I am saving ok now click on save so here you can see hi Vishwarupadikari you have submitted the form ok now if I go to another page let's say login here you can see hi Vishwarupadikari you have submitted the form because the value we are getting from the session ok so I think you have understand how to get the session object how to save value into the session how to retrieve value from the session so using that simple logic create 
good applications and post your application in our forum okay so thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any question suggestion please write comment below this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day